welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video we will try to continue our start series that we have started so in this part of the video we will try to discuss the data collection process right so what's the very first step whenever we are moving towards collecting the data is to understand the objective of the study so whatsoever study you are trying to do you need to understand the business use case of that you need to specify what's the objective of your study is all about right for example if suppose you are going uh, to check the covid cases how many covid cases are there so in which locality maybe you are saying that specifically in delhi i am looking for how many covid cases are there so at that point of time your case study is based on how many covid patients are there on the delhi city right so basically you need to specify what's the objective of your study what you want to uh, do after that right then only you will be able to collect that kind of data itself that's the very first point that you need to understand that is specification of the objective secondly after understanding what's the objective you need to identify what's the variables or variable of interest that you have in terms of data i'll talk about more uh, on this part on the later part of the video but let's move ahead and the last but not the least is that after getting the viewpoint we need to collect the, collect the data now when i am saying identify the variable of interest how many types of variables do we have so the very first type of variable that you will see in various data that you have is numerical which i would say is as a quantit quantitative as well where you can just quantify something on the basis of some numerical values like you can do addition operation subtraction operation average etc with these kind of values that you have now in numerical also you have two different kinds one is something which i can say it as a continuous right what will happen in continuous we will be having infinite number of values within some specific range i hope this is making sense to everyone for example i will say how much quantity of water that you have in a container so you are talking in terms of liters right or ml so this is something where there is some specific range of values some given range is there right second type is something which you called it as a discrete where you will be having some specific set of values for example how many number of subscribers you have on your on your youtube channel or you can say that how many number of students are there in your class if you are taking some course how many number of students have enrolled so here there is a, there is some specific set of numbers which i am talking about at each and every time there is not a specific range which is of a continuous type so here first type of variable is numerical and inside the numerical you see we will be having two different types one is called as continuous and another one is called as discrete now after this the second type of variables that you will usually see in any kind of data is categorical which i will also call as qualitative where we will be having distinct categories right here if you will observe we can't do any kind of arithmetic operations as such that we are doing in case of numerical variables for example addition subtraction how you can do with the categorical values right so here again you will be having two different types one is called as nominal in nominal for example i will say gender either male or female so sex gender right these things will be of nominal where there is not as such uh, extraordinary thing right every everything is having equal type of priority the second one which i am talking about which is ordinal there there will there will always be some order there is always be some rank for example i will say level of education phd is having more level of education as comparable to masters and then masters is having more priority as comparable to bachelors right this is the order if suppose you you will look for the qualification of any person you will prioritize more as in terms of knowledgeable person as phd person than the masters and then the normal bachelors even in the class if suppose you are getting some rank first second and third so there is a ranking order there is some order which is there that type of category is something which i would say as a ordinal so this is something that i want to discuss in this particular part of the video 
that what are the various steps which we have in case of a data collection. Basically, we have seen, we have three steps. Firstly, objective understanding is very much important. Secondly, the type of variable of interest is very important to identify, right? There we, is, we will be easily able to understand now, we have two types, one is numerical and another one is, uh, I would say discrete, right? Numerical is something where we will be having two parts and again, categorical is something which again, we will be having two parts, nominal and ordinal. Not discrete, numerical and categorical, right? And after that, according to these specifications, we need to collect the data, right? According to the use case that we're trying to solve. I already demonstrated one example also for that. And I hope that it is quite clear to everyone. Now, in the next part of the video, I'll talk about that how, okay, you will be able to collect the data. Now you have the data set. Just like the way I showed you in the previous part of the video where I have demonstrated that, okay, we will be having diabetes data. Now, how basically we can summarize that data? We have seen one describe function for that also. That is basically giving us the summarization only. But at that point of time, we didn't maybe know about the words that we are having. Might be we don't know the internal intuition or the formula to calculate those terms, right? So in the next part of the video, we'll try to discuss all those terms like what is mean, what is median, what is mode, what is standard deviation, what is variance, right? And then we will try to understand how basically we can summarize the data followed by how we can visualize the data, how many different kinds of plots that we have, right? What is IQR? What is box plot? And not only we will try to go through with each of them, after that session, you will observe that I am doing one implementation also, maybe on the same data, data set, diabetic data set only. And I'll try to demonstrate to you whatever concepts I am teaching you here so that we will be able to understand both of the things. First of all, we'll try to understand the concepts and then we will try to understand how we can implement those concepts in the real world. So I hope that the objective is pretty much clear to everyone. And with this, I would like to in this particular video, I hope that you will be able to get the concept which I want to deliver here. If you still have any, any sort of doubt, do let me know in the comment section and I'll for sure try to resolve it as soon as possible. With this, happy learning to all. Bye-bye everyone. And I'll see you all in my next upcoming video, right? But before that, please do subscribe my channel. It would really mean the world to me. Bye-bye.